Hello everybody, it's Proudchip here, and this is the first episode of the Crystal Shiny Run playthrough, or Let's Play, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's something I haven't seen before, basically it's the same as a playthrough, but instead of having regular Pokemon, it's going to be a Shiny team, and yet this team is legit. We already got Shiny Toadow, um, if you want to see that, then you should watch our, uh, I'll link the video in the description of our reaction, where we got Shiny Toadow. It is my first live recorded shiny as well, so I'm very hyped for this series uh, and to start just play uh, A few things at the start. This is gonna be just normal playthrough. It's not gonna be anything special It's just the only difference is is that um, my Pokemon will be shiny and Yeah, that, that's basically it um, I can uh, explain a few things or maybe one thing for now at least is that um, This is not gonna be consistent obviously since getting shinies is kind of a difficult f thing to do, um, but I will try my best. I'll keep this uh, this file very consistent. I'll try uh, my best to go through everything as fast as possible. Um, yeah, that's basically it for now, and let's start. Also, another thing uh, that I want to explain is is that the intro of this playthrough is not going to be available. The first thing you'll see is me with my starter. I haven't done any training. I haven't fought any trainers for, uh, yet. So, I mean, this is still pretty new. I mean, yeah, it's it's not as if I've already done the first gym. No, I haven't done anything. We're going to start right here, right now. You guys are able to watch it. So, I hope you enjoy and let's just jump right into it. I left off last time right over here in... Uh, I don't know what route it's called. Let's see right here, actually. Route 29, Cherry Grove City, New Bark Town. Alright. So let's get an encounter and fight our battle our first Pokemon, actually. Since I want to see um, what a battling looks like in this game, since I have never played Pokemon Crystal before. I've played Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold, so I kind of know what's going to happen in this game. I really like the, uh, the character sprite, uh, Gold. My name in this game. Oh. <laughs> That is shiny total out guys. Legit after 2,599 soul free sets. Also, look at the question of the day. What was your first shiny? Please let me know in the comments. I am very interested in the, uh, to see what your guys' first shiny was. If you never got on a shiny, uh, then tell me what your favorite shiny is. Maybe you know, just leave a comment. I would love to interact with you guys. I want to uh, know my subscribers more. I know I'm a small channel, but um, I think this will be a good start uh, for you know to uh, get the comments going. And all that. So we're gonna beat the Centred. Easy. Goodbye, Centred. Goodbye. Let's go, Totodile. If my game cuts sometimes, then that might be for me checking uh, the recording. Because I want everything to go well, as you might guess. <laughs> Alright, this uh, guy. This old man. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Yes, uh, you know what? Let's, let's do it. There's a playthrough. We gotta, we gotta make it as long as possible, can't it, don't we? Okay then, follow me. Oh, I love this music. This is the Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn up about them. This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell balls for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their prize Pokemon there. This is a sea. As you can see, that actually, wow, that rhyme. Some Pokemon are found only in water. Here. It's my house. Thanks for your company. Let me give you a small gift. We got a map card, that's uh, I don't know what that does, I think it's just a town map maybe. Poke gear becomes more useful as you add cards, I'm sorry I didn't read that. I wish you luck on your journey. Thank you old man, I appreciate it. Alright, now let's check our Poke gear actually. So, it's Monday, 4.46pm, it's actually 3.46 but I haven't changed time yet. And this is a map, we're in Johto obviously, Cherry Grove City, and we have our mom and Professor Elm. Alright, so I think we were assigned to get something for Professor Elm from Professor Oak. So, yeah, let's go up. 
uh, our total now is uh, it's not that damaged I think so we should be fine actually I think we should check this house because there might be something for us from this guy I think at least let's check it you know Pokemon eat berries well my Pokemon got healthier by eating a berry here I'll show them with you Seth that is my name by the way if you wanted to know my name is Seth well hello who are you <laughs> anyways we received a berry uh, I put the berry in the item pocket. It's not even called bag in this game. That's so weird. Check trees for berries. They just drop right off. Alright, then let's check this tree right next to this house, actually. It's a fruit-bearing tree. Hey, it's a berry. You obtained another berry. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. They might come in uh, useful later on this game. And this is Route 30, I think. Oh, Mr. Pokemon's house straight ahead. I like how he has his own sign for his house. He's, he must be famous. Oh! And there's another battle. Let's see who it is. It's a Weedle. A normal Weedle as well. I really hope we don't encounter a Shiny right now. And that might sound weird, but it's because we don't have Pokeballs yet, guys. If we encounter a Shiny, then we can't catch it. You know how awful that will be? I've only failed one Shiny before, and that was Shiny Vulpix. And it was... I think about a year and a half ago, maybe? Yeah, about about that time, yeah. Oh, we're poisoned. This sucks. Oh, no, poison is gonna kill us. Please. Uh, maybe the berry can heal us, maybe. Okay, we got, we got slowed down. He's only gonna use String Shot. What a pleb. Goodbye, Weedle. Have a good night. Or a good day, at least. We gained 22 XP. That's, and we leveled up. Okay, Total grew to level 6. Oh, that's pretty nice. All right, let's see if the if our berry. Oh, it's actually called a pack. Okay. Okay, we can use it as HP healers, so that will still be very useful. Oh no, another Pokemon. We gotta run because I don't think we'll be able to uh, fight right now. We're not in the condition to fight, guys. Totodile is not looking too good. I think I'm gonna give Totodile a nickname later because I do want to connect more with my Pokemon. I know it sounds weird, but. You know what? You guys can actually leave a nickname for Totodile. What do you want me to name my Totodile? Just comment something. You know what? You guys can decide. However, let it be in, in, uh, don't let it be inappropriate. I will ignore inappropriate comments. Alright. Totodile. Let's run, Totodile. We're gonna get to Mr. Pokemon's house. Okay. <gasps> hello, hello. You must be Seth. Professor Elm said that you would visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. We received a mystery egg. Okay. I put the mystery egg in the key pocket. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm for Pokemon evolution. Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it. Aha! So you're Seth! Oh, I don't know. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Yes, it's very rare. It's a shiny. Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. Two researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon, are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclo encyclopedia. We received the Pokedex, so we can finally uh, see the Pokemon that we've already encountered. Complete that Pokedex, but I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Seth, I'm counting on you. You know what, that's actually, that's the exact same thing that uh, Professor Elm said to us before he gave us Totodile. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Oh, thanks. Yes, exactly what he needed, because he was poisoned. Uh, Totodile was poisoned, and we cannot have Totodile poisoned. It's so sad. Oh, we got called. Professor Elm. Uh, hello, Seth. It's a disaster. Uh, um, it's just terrible. 
What should I do? Uh, uh, oh no. Please, please get back here now. Oh, it, that sounds serious actually. Um, oh, there's not a berry tree. We can get a berry. That's nice. It's a fruit bearing tree. Hey, it's a poison cure berry. Luckily, we found it afterwards and not before because otherwise we would have probably used it and it would have gone to waste because we just got healed. And another Pokemon battle. Let's see who it is. I think we'll fight him. It's a Pidgey! A normal Pidgey. Look at that animation. I love it. It's so cute. The fun thing is, I never played Gen 2 as the actual Gen 2 games. However, I did actually start my Pokemon journey with Gen 1. And I'm only 18, so... I was born way after the first gen games came out. This game, Pokemon Crystal, actually came out the year I was born. But I started playing in 2003. I was very young, I remember. And Pokemon Blue was my first game, actually. I obviously chose Squirtle because it fit with the Pokemon cartridge, or with the game cartridge. So, yeah, uh, that was my first ever start of uh, Squirtle. My second game was, uh, was Pokemon Ruby. And I think I chose Mudkip or Trico. Yeah, either one of those two. Then I uh, played Fire Red and many, many games. I played every gen uh, uh, besides Pokemon Sword and Shield since I don't have a Nintendo Switch, which is very unfortunate, but I can live with it. I recently started playing uh, Pokemon. Uh, Sword and Shield, I mean, no, not Sword and Shield, what am I saying? Uh, I mean, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, since I actually got a Shining Route in those games as well, which is awesome. Okay, so another battle. Let's get to the professional lab as quick as possible. We'll defeat this Cater Caterpie and then we'll run towards it. Well, we can't run in this game, but I mean, we'll walk very fast. <laughs> oh no, Caterpie used tackle. Oh, I only did one damage. Yo, Totodile was a tank! I mean, it's only a caterpillar tackling you, but still, Totodile was a tank. Yeah, I just used String Shot, you pleb. Alright, Scratch! And we defeat a caterpillar and we'll level up. Will Totodile learn a new move, is my question. He learned Rage! Rage! Urgh. Angry. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, what you got for us? There's a Pokemon's house. It's a bit farther ahead. Oh, yeah, thanks. I, like, I, it's, I totally didn't know there was anything. Okay, an antidote. Seth put the antidote in the item pocket. An antidote also heals poison uh, Pokemon. Which is nice. This is the berry house. Or the, 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 the yeah, the berry guy. We're back on Jericho City. Let's heal up uh, Totodile before we go on. Oh, I love the Pokemon Center music in these games. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so nostalgic. It just brings me back to my uh, to when I was a young young little Seth playing Pokemon for the first time. Oh, I love it. It's great! I guess for any number of Pokemon and it's all free! Hmm, I guess. Hmm, that PC is a free for any trainer to use. Oh, I, I'm sorry for reading this sentence so weirdly, guys. Communication center upstairs was just built, but they're still finishing it up. Yeah, I, I, that's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. All right, so it's yeah, it's this way. Wait, who's this? You got a Pokemon lab. You got a Pokemon in the lab. What a waste! A wimp like you, huh? Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, we're gonna battle them. That's amazing. I haven't played Pokemon Go uh, Hard Gold and Soul Silver in so long. I actually don't remember. I don't remember what happens in those games. He has a Chikorita. Okay, let's see what Rage does. I've I've heard it's a pretty good move. Because I I, I watch a lot of like uh, Pokemon info videos. It it doesn't do too much, but I think it builds up. So if we use it again, it might do more. Hmm. It failed. How does Growl fail? No, I don't think it's gonna do much, guys. Oh, now it's building. Okay. Let's see. So now it should do more damage, right? 
Oh yeah, it did. I think it has a chance to build up. Or does it always do that? Or am I just dumb? Let's see. This should kill it, right? It is. Okay, we, we defeated the trainer, I think. That's his only Pokemon, right? Okay, we leveled up again. It gave 67 XP. Question mark. He doesn't have a name? What? He was defeated. Hmm. <laughs> Are you happy you won? We got 300 uh, Poke Dollars for winning. My name? My name's question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Yo, he runs fast. Call him Usain Bolt. I don't know. I just got a text. What do you have to say? See those legends that scary to jump. Often. But you can go to a new park without walking through the grass. Yeah, I do think. I want to get as fat, go there as fast as possible. Let's talk to this guy. What does he have to say? Yo, how are your Pokemon? If they're weak and not ready for battle, keep out of the grass. You know what? That, that's, that is pretty smart, not gonna lie. He is spitting facts. Hey, what are you doing in the grass, bro? Pokemon hide in the grass. Who knows when they'll pop out? Okay, so here's a, here's a lab. Oh, wait, wasn't it? Yeah, there was a guy here. Is that the guy that? Yeah, th no, yeah, there was a guy that stole that uh, just battled us. Yo, the police is here. The cops. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? <gasps> He's gonna be our rival. Okay. He's gonna be our rival. Okay. Um. I don't have a name for him. Okay, so my name is Seth. And he has long red hair. So. Yeah. I. <laughs> Let's just call him Tom. Tom is gonna be our rival. We hate him. No, we don't hate him. His name is Tom. Okay, so Tom was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. Uh, you got anything to say? Sam, this is terrible! Oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? I handed the mystery act to Professor Elm. Oh, yeah, I had to do it as well. Go. Oh. This? But is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it is a great discovery. What? Professor Oak gave you a Poke... Oh, I mean... Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Seth, is that true? Th that's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Well, Seth, you may have what it takes to become the champion! You seem to be getting on great with Pokemon too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym will be the one in Violet City. Seth, the road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Okay, so I oh, you got anything for us, Seth? Use these on your Pokedex quest. We received Pokeballs. Yes, now we can actually catch Pokemon. However, we're not gonna do that because, like I said, this is a shiny run quest. I already got planned out what shiny Pokemon I'm gonna be hunting for. If you wanna know, then check out my shiny reaction video because I'll I, I actually do show my team in that one. Whoa, that's a cute Pokemon. Why did you get it? <coughs> <coughs> So you're leaving on an adventure? Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know, I'll save money for you. On a long journey, money's important. You want me to save your money? Hey, uh, you know what? Just because it's a part of the game, we'll actually do it. Okay, I'll take care of your money. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. You need to work as a team. Now go on. Okay, so... Uh, yeah. This episode has been going on for quite a while now, so I think after uh, this uh, catch tutorial, I think it is, is going to be our end of the episode, since I don't want it to uh, go on for too long. Would you like me to show you how to catch Pokemon? Yes, I would like to sh you to show me, actually. Okay, so what is he going to encounter, I wonder? Rattata. Look at this guy, he's so cool. 
Well, Ratata appeared. It's a level 5 Ratata as well. He's got 5 Pokeballs. His name is Dude, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's not give him a name. Let's just call him Dude. Gotcha! Red Star was caught. Not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. And his name is Dude. That's how you do it! If you weaken them first, Pokemon are easier to catch. Okay, so let's save the game. And, yeah, there's already a save file. We played for... Yeah, we played for 20 minutes, so I think that's a long enough time uh, for one episode. I don't know how long I'll, uh, what I'll do in the editing, but yeah. This is the end of the episode. If you enjoyed the episode, then be sure to leave a like. Share it with your friends if they are interested in Pokemon, especially in shiny Pokemon. Uh, leave a comment uh, if you... if you Just tell me like uh, what you like about the video, what I should change. If you like the layout, if the sound's good, you know, if... Um, if I'm like, uh, can you guys hear the the audio from the game itself well, and can you hear me well compared to it? Then just leave a comment, and I'll I'll be sure I'll be uh, I'm sure that I'll read them, and I'll reply to them as well. Anyways, have a good day. Have a good uh, have good luck with your hunts if you have any hunts, and well, yeah, that was it for this episode. Goodbye.